So our lobster day was going to be a full day of catching lobster for us and the crew and some of the staff for Middle Key. So we went out with one of the friends of one of the guys that worked at Middle Key. His name was Rocky, and he's a lobstering guy in the area, and he had a couple condos. So he's like, hey, let's go out and check out some of these condos and see if there's any lobsters on them. Hopefully there'll be uh, plenty in there. We saw some nice lobsters when I was just swimming around in the water, but I didn't take a real close look at them yet. So again, hopefully there's some big ones. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down there and just grab them with my gloves. And uh, if any of them get out in the open, Louise is gonna take the uh, neuritic lionfish pole spear, and instead of having a three prong on it, we have a slip tip on there so she can shoot the lobsters because you're allowed to do that here in the Bahamas. And uh, we're gonna try to get as many as we can for us and the crew today, so hopefully we'll have a good time out there lobstering and have, uh, have plenty for dinner. So I'll Good see it. you guys in the water and hopefully with a, come back with a bunch of lobsters. So we got over to his first condo and there were lobsters everywhere under it. I just saw all the antennas sticking out of the side of that condo and I knew they were loaded up in there. Louisa was using the neuritic lionfish pole spear with the slip tip to shoot the lobsters because you're allowed to shoot them in the Bahamas and it's actually recommended because you're going to hurt them less, you're going to break less legs off, less will get away. You can just shoot them, get them in the boat and go down and get another big lobster. You just have to know what you're looking for. Got that one on the pole spear. And then I grabbed a lobster that was out in the open. And then Louisa went down and shot another one. And that was a pretty good sized lobster that she just caught. And then I grabbed another lobster. After I grabbed that lobster, I went ahead and started swimming it back to the boat. And then we moved to a spot where there was some just coral heads and rocks and we just started bouncing around looking for random spots to see if there were lobster in the rocks. And one of the coral heads we'd stopped on had several big lobsters in it. And then I shot a really big lobster off of that rock. is always great. I have never been and not found lobsters. That's one of my favorite parts about the Bahamas is that there's always lobsters and there's always conch and they're usually not hard to find. That's a good one. Look at that monster. Holy cow. What? Hey big boy. That is. Holy smoke. That's a freaking lobster. Look at this here. I know there's some big ones down there. Like he said, this is just a baby, I guess. Even though it's the biggest one in the boat so far, yeah. there's some big ones. And that tip is in there good. So thick, I can barely get my hand around it. Here it comes. There it is. Got it. Here he is. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Look at the size of that thing. That's a big lobster right there. Look at the size of that tail. Holy cow. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Mm -hmm.